Hello and welcome to our tutorial. In today's video, we're going to show you how to clean a mailing list using Excel and Microsoft Copilot. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Here we have the mailing list. The first column has a customer name. Then you have the first line for the address, the third column or C for the second line of the address, followed by the city, the state, and the zip code. Now here's the issue. The first record, for example, or Blue Horizon Enterprises has in the second column, attention accounts receivable instead of the mailing address 123 Main Street. Now, if we look at the second row or Silver Oak Studios, now the address is in column B and then the address to it's blank. So there's a mixture between uh, PO boxes, care of, and accounts receivable in column B. Our goal is to bring the different addresses into one column and remove the accounts receivables, DBAs, or care of while we are at it. The first step is to check if you can activate Microsoft Copilot in Excel, like you see in the screen on the upper right hand corner. To check if Copilot is inside Excel, we're going to go to File. Now we're going to go to Options. And then we are going to look for the Copilot section right here. And then that is checked and click OK. To get started in the Home tab, let's click Copilot towards the upper right hand corner. If you scroll down, there is a chat history and the AI credit balance. Based on our family subscription, for example, we have a limit of 60 AI credits, which are available for prompts or similar options like create formulas, understand, advanced analysis, apply color and formatting, or ask Copilot. Going back to our list, if we look at column C or address 2, there are blank spaces for those customers without the account receivable in the first column. First, we need to click inside the table and then create a prompt that scans column C. And if it finds a blank, it will be replaced with the address in the left column. We will insert the prompt in the lower area right here. And the prompt says in a separate column, insert address two, but if the cell is empty, enter address one. Press the green arrow or enter. We can see the preview of the answer and below the option to insert the column. Let's take a look at the new column, the address combined, the one that Copilot created for us. And if you look carefully, now all of the address are in one column. You see the one, two, three main street, the PO boxes, and uh, we don't see any more accounts receivables or care of. If you look carefully below that function, you see the explanation of the formula and you have the option once you collapse that to like or dislike the result. This is optional, but will help Copilot understand you better. For now, we click cancel. Because now we have some cleaning up to do with the zip codes here in column F. Let's remove the four digits after the dash and any missing zip codes will be replaced with NA. And before we continue, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And we have 52 free Excel shortcuts for Windows and Mac. The link is in the description. We are now going to ask Copilot the steps to find and replace in Excel. Type the prompt, how can I find and replace blank zip code with NA. And now you can see to the right the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do the find and replace. So let's do that real quick. Let's go ahead and select the column F and pressing Control H. We're going to say find what. We're going to leave that blank and then replace with. We'll enter NA and click OK. And the last task is to remove the last four digits of the zip codes. So let's use another prompt and in a separate column, remove the last four digits of the zip codes 
right after the dash. Look at that, we just have to insert the column and the zip codes are ready to go. To finish this demo, let's create a table with the seven most popular states, cities, and their zip codes in this list to get an idea where most of our customers are coming from. The question was, what are the seven most popular states, cities, and zip codes? And see how it gives you a nice summary of the results, then a table with the option to add it to a different sheet. We hope this video was helpful and we're now offering memberships to get more personalized help and Excel content for you. Check the link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.